Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Yep, you know me. I'm the ordinary guy who has autism, who's sitting in this lovely, comfy chair in my room, you know, doing movie reviews, special reviews, or any other kind of nature of random videos, such as commercial breaks that I found from Los Angeles stations or any other, even make my own simulation spoofs of a cable network that's no longer around like the preview guide, preview channel, sneak preview, even post some of their footages here and there. And yes, I do collect a lot of physical media that I have, you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS tapes, even though I didn't show you a lot, but that's okay. I mean, I do collect a lot of peanuts, uh, such as Charlie Brown and Snoopy, because I love peanuts, love Charlie Brown, love Snoopy. Just can't get enough of it. I, I always love to be happy, excited, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, or whatever. You know, I just like to have fun. You know, I spend time with my friends, family, or, you know, do some exercise, you know, get a job, you know, go to college, or any other kind, whatever. You know, I, I do use social media like Facebook, Twitter. Yes, I even have an Instagram account. Yes, I have a phone. I have all this other stuff. I don't care. But what matters the most, though, is that I just want to have fun without feeling bored. <laughs> well, now that I got that off my chest, because nowadays I keep getting unsubscribed for no reason or disliked for no reason, you know, I may not be popular. But who cares? I'm not a nuristic asshole who's an attention whore who loves to talk down and manipulate people with all these political jabs and become an oversensitive PC prick. None of that shit. I mean, it's always politics jabbing down our throats. You know, all this SJW and all this other crap that we're going through nowadays. Where everyone loves to talk about Trump this and Trump that. Well, that's another reason why I can't stand that shit. But you know what I can't stand of the most? It's some really horrible remakes. Like the new Child's Play movie that we're just getting so far. And I know we also got Pet Cemetery to come up. Both of them are coming up this year. And guess what? They're as bland as hell. Horrible. Terrible. Unnecessary. And we begin to wonder why do Hollywood keep remaking all these shitty movies that we already have? Because they have no quality, no pride. No storytelling whatsoever. They're just doing it to make a quick buck. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, man. I, I know. It's, it's just too much. Well, I decided to do a trailer reaction while, you know, just ranting over about what's going on with my channel these days. But hopefully I'm going to get more to it, and I'm going to still continue to do more videos no matter what. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm not doing it, like, 24-7, because I'm not. I can't. That's too much. I, I only do it, like, on, on some occasions here and there. Whatever day it is, that's right for me. Alright? You know, I'm not Nostalgia Critic. I'm not... AVGN, you know, Angry Video Game Nerd. I'm not like all these other guys who loves to do this stuff just so they can make more money or even sign up a Patreon account. I'm just an ordinary guy, that's all. Right? I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just... I have the right to be angry, alright? I know I block comments too because I can't stand having to deal with trolls. You know, being hungry all the time. Just to see a lot of negative things towards our backs. You know, I don't get much likes 
I mean, I do get likes still on my videos. And I do get some more subscribers. I mean, yes, they go up to it. But it's not exactly millions of subscribers. And even worse, I don't get much views on my channel. Sometimes whenever I post like some other video that I know what I'm going to do and even post up a thumbnail, I either will get some more views or, or I end up getting smaller ones, like tiny bits. And that's just not fair. Not fair. Not fair at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting ahead of myself. But anyway, I did saw the new Child's Play teaser. <sighs> Damn it, Orion. What were you thinking? You know, you're a great company. You just revived yourself. You know, after all the bankruptcy problems you've been going through. I mean and being bought by MGM so luckily MGM was lucky enough to revive you again so you start making movies because after all MGM was going for bankruptcy problems too in early 2010 or so so I'm just hoping that Orion doesn't suffer that problem again and they really need to start putting out some more films that are good enough for the audience because hey you know it's great to be retro again. <sighs> I mean, it's sad that United Artists isn't joining in. Because, after all, they released the original film. But you know this is not going to work. <sighs> anyway, as I'm watching the trailer, yes, you see the factory. Everything's all controlled. It's done by a company called Castland. <sighs> but... The best of all is that it's set in the future, and what do you know, the building a Chucky doll. Yes, you get a kid who just got a Chucky doll for his birthday, and it's electronic. Yes, it's from the producers of It, the new It, from 2017. And what do you know, you know exactly what you're going to see. Yes, some more murder more um, tragedy that's going to happen but then we won't even know who who the killer is until we begin to find out yes we see Chucky and yes Chucky's going around killing people we get it and then we even see Annie's mother being tied up I get it I get it already I rather stick to the original film that Tom Holland directed. It already had a great cast already as it is. You know, Catherine Hicks, Chris Sarandon, Brad Dorf, yeah, and Alex Vinson. Of course, the plot is plain and simple. A serial killer who gets possessed by a doll that you get in the store, a toy store, mostly because, you know, he got shot. He knows voodoo, so whenever he uses that um, that ritual, that's when the sky is is under under a thunderstorm and it's ready to be possessed. And there you go. Yeah, he's being chased by a cop, and what do you know? You get a kid named Andy who's doing something special for mom, only to know that it's his birthday. So what he gets for his birthday? What else but a good guy, though? Because, of course, he watches the good guy cartoon. He collects a lot of good guy stuff, you know, cereal and all that. So you know that he will finally get a special doll that he always wanted. And become friends. Friends to the end. But what he doesn't know is that, yes, the serial killer, Chucky, because that's the name of the good guy Dell. I mean, the good guy Dell has different kind of names, but it, but at this rate, it had to be Chucky. Was that yes? He came back to life, going around killing people. Because he gets to do whatever the the hell he wants. But nobody would believe him. 
I mean, nobody would believe in Annie that, that Chucky did all this. So this is exactly what's going to happen until the mother finds out. And there you go. It's just, you know exactly how horror remakes are going to do. You, you know, they're just not going to focus on story, telling whatsoever. They're just going to come up with stupid ideas. None of them is going to work. And they're just coming up a dumb excuse to just put in CGI, blood, or any other kind that they love to do. They're going to have some pretty bad actors who can't act. And what do you know? <laughs> This is going to show a lot of predictability about what's going to happen next. So, what else is new? Nothing. They're just doing it for money, plain and simple. Now you know why people are getting angry about horror remakes, yet alone remakes in general. Because they just don't care. But therefore, I enjoy the original 1988 film that I love. Um, I also didn't mind the sequel that followed. I thought that was even better than ever when they gave it to Universal. Uh, the first film doesn't deserve a lot of hate that's gotten. Because I think it's an underrated sequel, yet alone the second one. I really enjoy Bright Up Chucky, not only as a spin-off with Jennifer Tilly joining in, but it really worked in a way. I mean, yes, I, I don't mind that the film is going for comedy and everything. I love comedies. But hey, you know, every once in a while, I mean, Chucky does need a girlfriend. Anyway, because actually that was uh, his love. Um, See, the Chucky was just a disappointment has its moments here and there but otherwise it's not nearly that good compared to the others um, Curse of Chucky I didn't mind it's not a perfect sequel by any means I mean considering that it's direct to video but it was decent I mean there was uh, some moments here and there that I didn't mind it even shows its backstory too at the end. Um, the only one I still haven't seen, I can't believe I haven't, is Cold of Chucky. And that came out um, two years ago. So, whatever the case, I'm not really looking forward to the remake at all. I can definitely see why Don Mancini is upset. I can't say I blame him. But with that nature, I know people are just going to say, oh, I don't care what he says or what he thinks. He's milking the franchise for what it's worth. Well, whatever. Again, it's my opinion, so I'm going to stick right to it. Uh, I don't blame Jennifer Tilly for getting mad, too, because that's not the Chucky that she really wants. I mean, nobody asked for this. I mean, nobody. Especially for everyone who worked on it. Um, I've yet to find out about everyone else, but what can I do? <laughs> I can't change anything. And I had to go around posting a trailer or any other on Facebook just for that. And this is where I had to save my response. So... So there might be either people who agree with me or disagree with me. I'll live with that, okay? But what matters the most is that I'm just hoping people will have to say what, what I have to think about it. So What I have to think, what they have to say. Okay, I understand. You know, sometimes I can't handle criticism very well, but other times I could. Maybe that's just the idea. What do I know? Well, anyway, um, 
And I wasn't really uh, very fond with the Pet Cemetery uh, trailer either. I mean, it's great to see John Lithgow in a movie, but nothing else. I mean, he just looks pretty bored. Um, there is a cat in the movie, a black cat. Not that frightening as, as I thought it would fear. Um, the entire movie is definitely exactly what any other current horror film looks like. It's all, you know, there's going to be jump scares. I mean, the whole film's going to look all, you know, dark gray tinted. Just to give it a, a scary dark atmosphere. That's all they ever do these days. More random, boring characters, most of which doesn't keep my interest. And the fact that they're trying this hard to actually cover the entire book of from Stephen King. Yes, me though. It just makes you want to stick to the original. I don't care what anybody says. I love the original better than than the remake. And I was fine with the original uh, Pet Cemetery, and I also didn't mind the sequel too, because I saw these as a kid. And I enjoyed them. I mean, sure, critics might not care for it, but that's okay. You know, there are horror fans out there who appreciate it. And I understand, you know, everybody has their own fans. Okay, <laughs> I know this is just going on and on, but I just want to get that off my chest, and I just want to explain my trailer reactions to these two. Well, I had explained about my problems with my channel, or any other. <sighs> Sorry about that. I know. Nobody's perfect, you know. We'll take it for what it is. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. As later as it could be, or I'll just continue to go on. <laughs> Bye.